There's one here. They just don't stop it. No. God. I can pick these fish up now. What's up, guys? We have a bit of a mission today. We're on our way to a pond that is being deconstructed, basically destroyed for a construction project. The problem is this pond, which is just a mud puddle now, still has fish in it trying to survive. The plan is we pick up a big bin that can store a lot of water, get some aerators in it, catch as many of those fish as we can and get them in that bucket and drive them to a local creek where we can put them back. This is the pond. I was telling you all about look at this you can see a lot of dead fish in there already oh but i see some that are still alive over there okay there's some survivors and we're gonna get them out of here now based on the footage that jason sent me and what he told me it's pretty safe to uh assume because he knows his fish that most of these are going to be small gar that are still alive down here oh yes oh sinking sinking up to oh up to my shins in the mud here i came prepared for this though i knew this was gonna happen uh. all right oh. you gotta be kidding me okay well hang on the mud is a little bit more treacherous than i thought i'm stuck in it Oh. Oh. I knew the mud was going to be thick. I didn't know it was going to be this thick. <laughs> you get stuck in the mud, you use flat, long surfaces to push off on, like snowshoes. And you always go back the way you came in, because you know you can get off that way. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay, I need to reassess my approach a little bit. No, no. There he is. Oh, oh, there's a gar right there. Look, look, look. Please be alive. Please be alive. I think he is. I think this one's still alive. He is, we got one. We got a fish. Oh, look, there's two more, three. Okay, hang on. This is where the fish are. This is where they're hanging out and still alive is in this bit of mud right here. Problem is, I don't think I can get to them without, uh, well, we go and get muddy. Oh no, he got out. Okay, hang on a second. We'll put the net here. We'll, uh, we'll put them in the, in the net, like a keep net. Look, we're at the point now where I can pick these fish up. I can pick these. Come here. I can pick these fish up now. Let's put them in the net. And get that net at an angle so they're not getting out. Look, there's one here. Mm. It's like, oh. Okay, let's just. I'm just gonna have to admit a vic admit a victory here for the bars and tone feature on my uh, editing software because. I'm swearing like a sailor doing this. That one is that, that one looks dead. Are you dead? Are we too late for this one? It's a big one. That one's deceased. That's too bad. There's one over there. That one's dead. You guys can see. It does seem to be the largest ones went the the fastest it's so sad but we got it we got four i think in there so oh hang on if you stand still too long you get stuck like legit like you're not getting out oh god 
this is just gonna be a bunch of bars and tones on this one. Oh, oh. I just need that one right there. Oh, Come on, buddy. Come on. Gotcha. Oh. Once, once I get a hold of them, I need to kind of like just toss them to the shallows. All right, let's take these guys back up to the uh, the live well. We'll see what else. Oh, stop! Stop! They they just don't stop it. No, God. They don't understand. Come here, buddy. They don't understand what's happening. Good thing about Gar is that they'll survive out of all the fish we could have found. I mean, as is evidenced by what you're seeing, these ones will be okay. The longest in transport. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Working in a zoo for quite a long time, I can tell you, transporting any animal is a nightmare. Animal transport is not fun. And most animals don't do well moving in uh, any kind of vehicle for very long at all. In you go. That is well oxygenated creek water from right next door to where these guys were, so. They should not have any kind of contaminants in there. They're gonna mess with the fish. This is all water that I'm assuming at some point they were exposed to, or at the very least, it's the closest thing I could get. Yeah, that one's kicking. Good job, buddy. I'm sure it feels amazing for these guys to have a little bit of water to sit in. All right. Can't really see them, but I'm, I'm fine with that. I mean, we even get one of these fish out alive it will have been an effort that was worth doing so we'll have saved you know one at least one fish that would have otherwise died there they are there he is right there yeah look at him breathe you can see him breathing perfect beautiful let's keep going let's get my phone out of my pocket or i'm gonna end up breaking this thing there's a small group right there you guys can follow the trail that the water makes as it dries, they're going to be in the deepest part. Hang on a second. Let's see how far we can go on this before we go down. Okay, so far so good. As long as I'm not sinking up to my knees. You can walk as long as your knees are above the mud. Because once your knees go down, then you're in trouble. And by trouble, I don't mean like I'm going to die here. Because obviously I just call for help. But uh, like you're not walking any further. <laughs> These higher mounds here are what I want to be on. See, I can actually pretty much support my weight with this. Look at those fish right there. See that? That gar right there? Here we go. This is, oh! That's where we sink. That's where we sink right there. Damn. Gotta get to that fish. There's a few. There's a few way out there. I don't know if I can get to them. I just don't know if I can physically manage it with how deep the stuff is. If I can get to that one, I think. Ah, see, he doesn't like the side of us. He's a big one too. I'll feel good if we can get that one out of here. I know, buddy, I know. No, stop. Oh, please, come back. And before you even ask, no, a cast net, I brought one, would not work here very well because the ground is so uneven. They would just slip under it as I tightened it. Looks like I'm not gonna have much of a choice if I wanna save that fish. Okay, see those high mounds right there? It's the higher bits that seem to have a bit of stability. Also, if I step at an angle behind me, almost like my foot's pointing backwards, and I kind of fall to my knee, almost like I'm doing a shot, like if you're a wrestler, almost like you're doing a shot where you drop on your knee. It's a little bit easier to walk because I'm using my whole shin to support my weight, not just my pointy, you know, my toes going down. All right, it's a little bit better than I thought. Oh, we're so close to that fish. He can't really go anywhere besides 
that's the furthest he can go unless he scatters over the mud there. Scamper, scatters, whatever. Point is, very close to getting that fish. Ah, I think I, no, I missed him, damn. Okay, hang on, let's try again. There he is, there he is. Got him. Got him. Ah. Hold still, pal. I really wanted to see if I could get the other one too, but you know, can't do everything. This is hard work. Oh, Lord. Okay. If you are wondering why I'm like breathing like I'm dying, it's because walking through mud, you know, up to your waist is one of the hardest things you can do. Combine that with the stress of trying to catch a live animal on camera. And uh, you'd be breathing heavy too. Muddy, muddy day. Who doesn't like playing in the mud though? All of it. We played in all of it. All the mud. There's a creek right over there on the other side of the freeway. That's where we're going. Yeah, it's tempting to want to take a break, but those fish, uh, those fish need to be in uh, actual wild water. Look at this beautiful water, you guys. You're gonna love this. Beautiful, those fish are free. They're gonna live much more comfortably in here. Now we got a good, Let's go get the big one. Leave the door open for a minute, I don't care. Here's this beautiful fish. It's gasping for air. We got it, buddy. 50 more feet. 50 more feet and you're home free, pal. Look, there's one of the ones we rescued right there. I know, buddy. There he is. Success, what a good feeling. To be able to get those fish out of there. Every single one, you know, it makes a difference to that one. Incredible fish, I'm exhausted. That was extremely difficult. Uh, obviously, you're gonna see, you know, eight, 10 minutes of this video. It took a lot longer than that, I promise you. <laughs> And uh, at times, you know, the, the mud was well above my belt buckle. So wading through, through muddy soup is very hard, especially trying to catch animals. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Tribor Outdoors, you probably can't even see it through the mud now, but the emblem of the GAR, our emblem of Tribor Outdoors, our apparel uh, partner. Check out the wildlife line. We got our own line on Tribor Outdoors now. But all kinds of stuff there, whether you like fish or you're into deer, or, you know, um, you know, different types of fowl. They have it all. Whew. If you know of any spots like that that are drying up and you have the chance to safely get fish out, I encourage you to try it or let me know where it's at and I'll come do it. All right, let me know what you guys want to see next. Watch this video. I am going to go get clean and I'll see you guys later. And I almost forgot massive thanks to Jason for giving us the heads up. He's the one who told me about that spot and there are fish in there that needed to be rescued. Thank you so much. The fish thank you too.